Haley, it's me, JC. Just so you know, I'm dropping two videos this Friday. The other one is on my friend JJ. Uh, please, I entered this contest. Uh, JJ is fantastic. He did a great video for me yesterday when he talked about where he met Mr. Sam Jackson. So if you could, go check out that video too. But this video is going to be where I spot like six, I can count six, uh, shocking uh, values of some KISS records, some very rare KISS records um, that I'm going to point out and show you guys. Uh, just incredible, uh, some of the prices on some of these albums. So before we get started, if you like my videos, please remember to hit the like and the subscribe and smash the bell, and you'll be notified every single time that I drop a video. All right, guys, Kiss, one of my favorite bands, you know that. Uh, so every once in a while, I'll do some research and be like, oh, let me see, you know, if any of my Kiss records are really rare or valuable, and I came across some that I personally don't own, but I would scoop them up if I saw them in the wild. So let's start with the, uh, all of these value over $400, and one of them is over $800 thousand dollars so let's take a look at these number six is kiss the symphony concert which i know that this was i believe uh melinda murphy's grail which i believe that she has now uh this one here sells as you can see for over four hundred dollars um and you know back in the early late 90s early 2000s this was all the rage where rock bands played with symphonies uh i know that i think uh, aaron really digs this record uh, i don't know if i'd pay four hundred dollars for it um but if you find this in the wild go for it i believe that it was part of that kissology box set thing that they came out with uh and that's why it's so rare there's one other of those records on this list too on uh, number five came out last year and i could have ordered it and I, i'm not into picture discs so but i was like ah should i order it i was on their website and this is double platinum and it's a picture disc limited i think only 500 copies yeah 500 copies as you can see 450 bucks for the double platinum picture disc which is crazy there's a part of me i wish i picked it up just i didn't know it was going to go that crazy um but yeah insane right last year i'll make him out last year uh number four and this is the only kiss studio album that i'm missing is sonic boom sonic boom was released on a red wax um, and it's selling for $600. This only came out in 2010, so it's only about 11 years old. Uh, and yeah, as you can imagine, $600 for this record. Knowing Kiss, they will do a reissue, right? Kiss tries to squeeze all the money they can out of all their albums, so I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm not gonna pay $600 for Sonic Boom, but if I saw it in a used bin and the person didn't know it was rare, I would scoop it up. Number three kiss greatest kiss which is crazy because this is a greatest hits album with an interview with jay leno i believe <laughs> and this was yeah it was the kiss stereo box set that's what it was called kiss stereo uh and it goes for a thousand dollars guys for greatest hits but you know i understand it with kiss completists they need everything and that's what drives the price uh, maybe one day Kiss will do a second printing on that Kiss stereo. The one thing I will say about the Kiss reissues, they went back and used the original analog tapes. They sound fantastic. They include all the original inserts. Uh, definitely, um, I wouldn't shy away from those reissues. They sound fantastic. On uh, number two, and this is one that you know there's a good chance you might be able to find in the wild. Kiss Alive to the Misprint. The misprint sold for over $1,200 if it was complete. And the what makes it uh, a misprint is there's three songs on the track listing that are not on the album. Take Me, Hooligan, and Do You Love Me. There's, so, there's many people th that have made YouTube videos that say they scored it on eBay because nobody listed it as a misprint. And they just saw it had the extra songs and bought it. So crazy, $1,200 complete. And number one, and this is probably the most shocking, selling for $8,500, Kiss, the blue label 45 of Let Me Go Rock and Roll and Hotter Than Hell. Whew. Can you imagine finding this bad Larry in the wild? $8,500, crazy. Um, I don't know if I'd ever spend $8,000 on a 45, even if it was cool cloth by the Misfits. But all right, guys, insane. Uh, I will join you this weekend with my prog journey video. 
uh, and maybe a couple other surprises. We'll see. All right, guys. Peace. Rock out. I love you. Bye, guys.